because I feel like no one saw that coming where it was just, yeah, you're single and also you're dumped. So that's why I feel for the guy. But honestly, I wish you all the best though. I, I yeah, appreciate, I appreciate it. And same here, obviously. You gotta do what, uh, what's right for you, my man. Hey everyone, I'm so sorry for the late upload. Work has been work and life has been lifing. Um, and also, I'm not happy Harrison's back. I'm not happy Harrison's back. This is why I wasn't keen to watch this episode because I still feel some type of way about the way he twisted Destiny last season. And I know he's going to be a hot mess this season. That's him. Um, I'm not sure about his long hair though, but the girls I know are going to go wild and the boys are going to be intimidated because he's that good looking and he's that physically fit. So I'll try and get this, through this. I'll try and be objective. But when it comes to Harrison, I'm still holding on to my beef in the sense that I don't like the fact that he built a Destiny up so high and then he dropped at the last minute. But anyway, that was my little rant for today. Let's go. Hey there. Thanks for stopping by. It's Valerie. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, turn on the notification bell for when I upload new videos, leave a comment and definitely share. In this episode, I'll be reviewing Love, I Love Island. Oh my God, I was about to say Love is Blind. Love Island USA season six episode. What episode are we on now? Mm, episode 24. I feel really bad for the boys because... There's nothing you can do if Harrison wants your girl. At the end of the day, you're just going to have to sit back and watch. Because the girls, the way they were so mesmerized by him and they were all looking. Even the boys noticed this and they said the girls are so mesmerized. They couldn't even speak. They were just looking at him. And then eventually you had Nicole say to him, okay, shall we go and sit down for a chat? And he sat down with the girls and you could see how excited they were. They were all giddy and they were all fidgety. Even Nicole was snorting and I'm like, I've never heard you snort with Kendall and yet you've closed things off with him make that make sense um so he asked the girls to sort of introduce themselves which they did and Leah I think she was very anxious she said my mom will really like you mom look at him he's here and it's like he is good looking he is good looking Janae she has these one-liners that she does that sort of cut deep and I don't think she realizes it this is not the first time because she asked what is your type and he said you'll know and then she sort of made a sort of sarcastic remark which she made a similar sarcastic remark um when I don't remember who it was who they asked who's your type and he was well I don't have a type and then she sort of cut him like oh you know you're lying and it's like it's not a good look. It's not a good look. No one can walk into the villa and say my type is blonde hair, blue eyes, the six feet, blah, blah, blah. Because if you do that, you're cutting out people that you might actually end up having a connection with. This is why a lot of people are very vague in what their type is until they find a connection with someone. Otherwise, they always are going to be vague. Because if you tell me you like someone who, you know, with fair skin... If you tell me you like someone with fair skin and I'm sitting here with my melanin, I'm just going to keep it moving next time you come and approach me because I'm not going to engage you because I'm going to say I'm not your type. So why waste my time? So I don't think that's a good look. I think it's something she needs to look at. I think she needs to look at if someone says something she doesn't like, she needs to be mindful of how, how she responds because it can come across disrespectful without her intending to be. Anyway, I digress. Um... So he pulled Sierra for a chat. You could tell he was attracted to Sierra. Am I surprised? No. Because Sierra, her features more or less favor Emily, the girl that he left Destiny for. So I wouldn't be surprised if he's keen on her. He then pulled um, Nicole. And you could tell the boys were intimidated. Even when he was greeting the girls, you could see them checking on their girls to see if their girls are okay. Um, when he pulled Nicole, Kendall wanted to, to to just fall down because he knew he doesn't have a leg to stand on. He, if she likes him, he's going to take her because this is who he is. And so he sort of asked Nicole, so what, you know, where do you stand with, with Kendall? And she was saying, oh, we sort of close things off in the hideaway, but I'm, I wouldn't want anyone to be uncomfortable. And it's like, nah, you should have told him. We close things off. I'm open to getting people, getting to know people on a friendship basis. But romantically, I am closed off if that was the situation. So Harrison is right to read it that she's closed off, but she's not as closed off as she makes out she is, which is the truth. The way the girls are objectifying Harrison. Oh my God. If it was guys doing that to a girl, it you know, people would complain. I know he's good looking, but oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. But anyway, it wasn't 
pervy some of the comments though so i'll give them that uh because you have the girls sit down for a chat after nicole has reassured kendall um and they're all talking about harrison and how good looking he is they can't wait to see him without his shirt on and then he takes his shirt off and they're all mesmerized i think i think the only reason why serena and Janea might be cautious is because of how he treated destiny last season so it leaves the rest of the group to sort of just sit there i don't think he's interested in leah he hasn't shown any interest in leah and so um miguel can breathe a sigh of relief for now um you have him playing table tennis with the guys the guys are intimidated they're all sitting more upright they're all sort of taking deep breaths in wanting to make sure that their posture is okay so that they can show what little abs they have and then the islanders get ready for bed so in bed oh my god everyone was making out i think the reason why everyone was making out was the girls were hot from what they had seen and the guys were trying to reassure their girls and keep their girls sweet that way i would mark their territory that's the impression that i get because uh at one point kane had to walk out of the bedroom because it was too much apparently leah and Gail were going for three hours and it's like, like oh my god three hours what the hell were they doing with other people in the room that's a bit too much uh and so in the morning you have you know miguel sort of being asked by kendall and aaron that so what level did you get to last night and it's like why why do we have to ask that because kane had already complained that he wasn't able to sleep in the bedroom because of the noise the kissing and whatever and you were saying how can you keep going for that long on somebody's lips only because obviously you can't have sex there's other people in the room um i don't know I think it's people are intimidated so they're trying to mark their territory they're trying to keep their partners sweet that way their partners don't leave them for harrison but it's going to happen a couple that might say they're closed off is going to be broken up i can foresee that i've said this before when i ranted about you know the debris in the morning and so hopefully the love island gods hear this again i don't get why is it the boys are the always the ones that are doing things for girls the boys are the ones that are making the coffee the boys are the ones that are making the breakfast why don't the girls do the same the girls are always being sent out on dates like or girl day or whatever why can't we do the same for the boys and show them that it's okay for someone to pamper you i know men are pampered all the time but still just it would be nice if the boy is making you breakfast today you make him breakfast tomorrow just for a change but anyway off my soft box i come um so you have you know cordell makes breakfast for serena and uh, you know takes a piss uh, by pretending to be afraid that she's going to throw the food at him she was fine with it and found it funny um K kendall made breakfast and he wanted to have it in soul ties so kenny this was sweet kenny was sweet in this thingy because he he offered to take the food up and you were so sweet in how he delivered it I, he actually warmed my heart and i sort of developed a little like oh i really like kenny um and so that was cute to see um and so harrison then received a message to say he's going on three dates and he needs to choose three girls to go with and he chooses to go with sierra first yeah he was attracted to sierra i don't know what i've noticed on um love island is people that normally go the first two dates are not the favorites the, the favorite is normally the one who goes the last date so i can't wait to see who he goes with on the last date it would make sense for him to couple up with sierra because sierra is the one who's just got into a couple and she's the one who's less who's most likely to have her head turned um it was cute watching the girls get ready and watching leah leah has developed a very strong bond with daniela and it's so cute to watch how they get along i love the little cheer that they were doing when you know sierra was getting dressed i'm yet to understand sierra's personality though because she does she's pretty don't get me wrong she's good looking don't get me wrong her body is you know but her personality i'm yet to see it and i don't know i don't know Maybe it's because she's with Kane. I saw glimpses of it with Miguel, but I'm yet to see what it is about her that makes her stand out. So I want to see how her date with Harrison goes and whether there's anything there. Kane obviously is intimidated and Le Leah saying, well, you shouldn't have left Sierra in bed. Well, he was annoyed. He was annoyed. And we've all found out now that he was annoyed because the producers wanted him to save Liv and he decided to go rogue and pick Sierra. So I guess that's maybe he must have been told off by the producers once Liv went home. Um, so we have Cordell and Serena. She's doing his hair. They seem to have turned a corner. They really seem to be doing very well. They really seem smitten with one another. And I wonder if production have taken out the apology section or the makeup session of how they got to where they are. Because we went from 
swearing and shouting and then to them sort of tr trying to have a conversation and then suddenly we are on the road to trying to make up and I don't know why they didn't show us the apology because it would have been nice for people to sort of understand how they got to where they are now. But I root for love if they're happy. Amazing. Um, you have Kane have his hair done by Kendall because the boys are trying to cheer him up because he feels some type of way about Harrison pulling his girl. And he's the one who's just recently got in a couple. I don't know. He was in a no-win situation in the sense that at least Sierra was showing romantic interest in him whereas Liv it was just friendship vibes so had he kept Liv Liv would have ended up with Harrison and that's not a lie and so he would have still been vulnerable staying with Sierra still makes him vulnerable because Sierra is the female version of Miguel she's very flirty she'll get along with anyone and everyone so um he's in a no-win situation um you see Sierra still on her date with Harrison they seem to be enjoying one another's you know time they share a kiss and it's like Harrison is smooth with it. Harrison is smooth. Harrison will, will get a nun to take off her knickers. So I wouldn't be surprised. Um, you then have everyone back at the villa. They're sort of just wondering what's happening. And Nicole receives a text message to say she needs to go on a date with Harrison. This is my thing. Nicole is interested in Harrison. Let us be honest. That's the long and short of it. She is interested in Harrison, but she's trying to play it down. And Harrison is not a fool. He could tell she's interested. Because if she wasn't interested, there's no point in him wasting his time with her. And I think because of the backlash that he received with the way he treated Destiny, he's decided to stay clear of Janaya. He's decided to stay clear of Serenity because he knows Black Twitter will drag him for filth. They've already dragged him once, and I don't think he wants to go down that road. Um, and I think had the girls shown that they were interested in him, then he might have paid them attention. And also the girls seeing how he treated Destiny, I think this is why they've decided to stay. Well, Serena was never going to show interest, but Janaya as well, I think, would never show interest in him because she's seen how he's moved before and she doesn't want that. Um, for Kendall to say, oh, we've, we are the couple that's been tested the most in the villa with this, that and the other. And it's like, oh, please sit down. Please sit down. You did some of the testing, so don't make it seem like it's only Nicole who's been tested. Besides, it was only Miguel. You you were tested with Nicole. You're now in a couple. Then Miguel tried to steal Nicole from you, and now Harrison. So please don't make a big deal out of it. Some people have recoupled four or five times, so sit down somewhere. Um, I don't know. I can't wait to see Nicole and Harrison's date and hear what she says. I like Miguel sort of teasing, you know, um, Kendall by saying, Nicole, don't forget to... I, I think he said, don't forget to show him the thunder thighs or something like that. It was cute. It was really cute. It seems Janaya and Kenny are very happy. It seems they're very giddy and they seem very excited to be one around one another. I love that for her. Um, but... I'm going to repeat, I think she deserves someone who's a bit more mature. I wish they had brought in a more mature guy for her, not Harrison. I think somebody new would have been nice because um, with Kenny, I don't know how long term this thing is going to work out. This is my concern. I love when someone is being loved, but I worry about the fact that will he be able to sustain this long term and will he be able to match her energy of where she's at in life? That's my big concern. Given his age, the fact that he's younger than her, does he have enough life experience to sort of match where Janaya is? That's my concern. But they seem happy. I love that everyone did. Everyone is just having a good time and they're enjoying themselves. We didn't really get to see Nicole's date. I don't know why, whether it's because she shut Harrison down immediately or whatever happened there. I don't get it. They spoke about him being in bottle service. And that was it. And so I can't wait to see what happens next with that conversation because we didn't hear anything. Or maybe they're waiting for the girls to sort of debrief and then we can hear exactly what's happened on the, on the date. Unless there's a fallout they don't want us to see. Sierra comes back. She has a conversation with Kane. And Kane is justified to say to her, if you want to con continue to explore your connection with Harrison, then I'm done. Because he was more or less a bus stop for her. He's more or less a bus stop for her because uh, Miguel had dumped her. And because Miguel had dumped her, she needed someone to, to keep her in the villa. So she jumped onto Kane and pretended to be interested. And now that someone she likes has walked in, she's now moving on to Harrison. And she doesn't know that Harrison is not the type to sort of be loyal to you. Harrison is just a different version of, you know, a different font of Miguel more or less he's just there for the game for the win and so when it's time he's going to move on to the next person that's the impression that i get 
you have Daniela receive a text message to say that she's Harrison's last date. And it was cute to see them enjoy their time. It was cute to see how happy, you know, she was. Um, I didn't like the fact that the girls, yeah, they said the dress was beautiful, but how could they let her wear that dress with that bra? It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense. Were people doing that out of love or were they just being malicious? Rob, you could tell, was shooketh to the core, but he was trying to be cool. And Daniela said she wanted this because she wanted Rob to shake in his boots because he doesn't seem phased by anything. So I can't wait to see that. I really enjoyed her date with Harrison, though, out of all the three, because she was asking Harrison the questions instead of him asking her. She wanted to know what he does for a living, how you know he got to his career, they did discuss her career as well, which is good. But then there's something I noticed when he was speaking to um, Sierra. Sierra said something about him and Miami. I don't know whether he's now fully moved to Miami and is now living in Miami. But he said, you know, I'm originally from Australia. Yeah, I do live in Miami for a bit. And then he quickly brushed off the topic. And so it's like, are we selling him as Australian, even though he's immigrated to America? Or is he still um, Australian, Australian and living in Australia? Make that make sense? So they come back from their date with Daniela and you can tell, you know, well, we didn't get to hear anything really. I don't know why they were so vague with this because Harrison has made this choice and they know who Harrison really liked of the girls. We didn't really get to hear much apart from see him kiss Sierra with the other girls. We didn't hear any exploration of a romantic connection. So it makes me question why it's been edited that way. Um, we barely got to see all the other islanders all we saw all we saw were the guys panicking when harrison was picking their guilt um daniela said she would speak to rob we didn't get to see that conversation and so we got to see the conversation between kendall and nicole and she was saying you know her date with kendall far outweighed her date with harrison so she wants to stay with kendall and for me it's like no this is strategic this is strategic. This is because you're more focused on the when. You can see that the end is near. And so you know that if you switch up suddenly, people are going to go against you. So this is why you've decided to stay where you are. If that works for you, amazing. Um, Harrison sits down with the boys to have a conversation about his dates. And they cannot intimidate him. That's one thing about Harrison. And this is one thing I've noticed in this villa that when they bring in more mature islanders the the other islanders will, will sort of back down especially last week when there was all that vitriol and everything going on the girls were only going after the 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 younger islanders they weren't going after the older ones and it seems the boys are intimidated by harrison's age and i think his physical appearance so this is why they're taking a step back um he really didn't reveal much. He didn't reveal much, which is not surprising because people rarely say who they like most. Um, they just talk about their dates and what happened and that's it. So the girls are chatting and Sierra reveals that she's been given an ultimatum by Kane. What do I think? I think he's right to give her an ultimatum because there's no point in him wasting his time. He doesn't want to be in a love triangle. So if she doesn't want him, he would rather kick rocks and keep it moving. For the girls to say, oh no, that's not good. That's bad. That's the red flag. No, you all did the same thing last week. You were kicking off. Now suddenly you're, you're calmer and we haven't seen your transition of what happened to make you calm down. So please take several seats and sit down. So the islanders get ready for the night and they have their drinks and then they receive a text message together around the fire pit where Harrison is told he needs to pick up someone to recouple with. He sort of in his speech was describing who he wanted to couple up with. And I don't get why Kendall was panicking like that. Just because you see your girl that way doesn't mean everybody else sees the, your girl the same way. And so he picked Sierra, which was good um, for her. And also for him because the two of them can play each other. Sierra is just the female version of Harrison and Miguel. Harrison Miguel and Sierra are a triangle that understand each other, that work from the same book, that are are there for the win and will do anything and everything to win. So they don't, it doesn't matter who they sort of cross or how they cross someone. I'm not going to be surprised if they both dump each other and they move on to the next one. That I can foresee happening. That I can see happening. I can see Harrison switching up on Sierra and Sierra, this is her third couple. So I wouldn't be surprised if suddenly Miguel woke up one day and said, I'm available. She would go with him. So let's see what happens there. Um, Kane was furious. Now I understand why he was furious. Apparently, I've seen clips of him. I, I'm not on TikTok, so I wouldn't know what he's actually said because he did a TikTok live. Apparently, he said that the producers wanted him to save Liv. And so when he didn't save Liv, they were furious with him. And 
I get it, but there was no need to disrespect him. Why give him five minutes to pack his stuff and leave? Why didn't you just get him to leave then if you didn't like him? I think they might have wanted to bring in girls, but because they wanted to kick him out, this is why they brought in Harrison to kick him out. And they made sure that Harrison picked Sierra, which is really bad. I, I hate that. I really hate when the producers do that. Anyway, um, thanks guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And click the link in my video to watch my review from episode 23. Bye, guys.